We're up here on one of my favorite bodies of water, Lake of the Woods. We're out of Sportsman's Lodge. I'm here with ICE team members, Keith Kvias, Pete Mayna, Jason Mitchell. We've traveled out 20 miles through crazy ice conditions, catching a ton of walleyes, having a blast. We're ICE team, we're on Lake of the Woods, bring it. Lake of the Woods has pretty much every kind of structure possible for fishing walleyes. But the unusually prevalent jagged and icy hide blanketing this tremendous fishery sends everyone searching for clues, using a few different techniques to see what might work. There you go. Yes, it longer when he came off right in the hole. <laughs> That's what you call a quick release right there. <laughs> There's your Lake of the Woods sauger. Tell by the little dots on top here. I don't, yeah. <laughs> that is what it's all about right there. Lake the Woods fishing. Not a big one, but just a perfect keeper. Nice little sauger. We've got a few small saugers, but we're still kind of in that search mode as we're out drilling holes and just moving from shallow to deep. And instead of moving all the way to another reef or piece of structure we're looking at, small moves are big moves. So we're gonna continue to search and look for inside turns. We're just looking for a little bit better quality fish. So we're gonna continue drilling holes, moving, grooving, and uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna hunt them down. Oh, exactly what we got here, but I think, come on, that was Jigging both my artificial and jigging minnow. There we go. <laughs> nice fish. Well, that was fun when you're two handing it and you really don't know what's going on. I'm watching the graph, and I had my my minnow rod, my jigging minnow, set down about three feet off the bottom, and all of a sudden this fish come in, and I I raised them up with my artificial and then brought them back down again. I couldn't get them to strike and had them chase back down. Jigs, spoons, bed sticks, and shiners. But using a few simple tricks can make a major difference in your ice fishing experience and effectiveness in such extreme cold and remote conditions. You know, you don't ever want to go to Lake of the Woods without shiners. They are so effective on this lake, and for running and gunning like this, we're out in the middle of nowhere, and so it's easy just to keep a bag of frozen shiners in your pocket. And I tell you what, these frozen shiners, a lot of days work as good as anything, but the thing about a shiner is that it's not very durable. So what I like to do is put a little snap on the bottom of that spoon, whatever lure I'm using. I just take that snap, that way I can pop that hook off. I just take that head, you just shove that minnow just like that, and that'll stay on really good. The thing about it is that when you're not marking fish, pound that lure pretty hard, especially on these reefs out here. Bang that lure on those rocks and try to call those fish in, and that'll just make that presentation a little bit more durable because there's nothing more frustrating than having a fish show up on your Vexilar doesn't bite, then you reel up and you don't have any bait on there. Dead rod. He was actually going after the dead rod. I thought he was coming after my spoon, but he's going after the dead rod. Not a monster, but he don't feel too bad. He's a oh, good fish. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how he hammered that, that uh, knuckleball. I saw the mark come in and I just lifted up a hair and he just popped it. Just perfect. What I've been using for these walleyes is what I call a one-two punch. My first punch here is just a jigging spoon. This happens to be called a stop sign, kind of a generic name for this flat-sided spoon with a rattle on the back. And what I'm doing with the stop sign is taking a, a fathead, a live fathead, I try and pick one of the little bit bigger ones, I put them on through the head and then pinch it off about halfway down the body, kind of exposing all the guts there. So this is my first punch. What I'm going to do with this is drop it down to the bottom, let it sit on the bottom five to ten seconds. Then I rip it up about two feet, then I jiggle it hard, then I hold it a second, and then I slowly let it back down to the bottom and I repeat that over and over again. So I think this lure is actually helping draw fish in to the area that I'm sitting here because these fish are just roving around. The second punch I'm going to go with is a dead rod, just basically a rod I'm going to set down the hole and let sit about a foot above the bottom. For this I'm going to use a little knuckleball jig. It seems like when it's cloudy out, pink and white have been the best colors. Now for this I'm, I'm hooking this up a little bit different. What I'm going to use is actually two minnows. I hook up the first through the mouth and then I go actually behind the head and out kind of the back. 
So it positions that hook kind of back far on that minnow. So he's hanging down on the bottom. Then I take a smaller fathead and I simply pluck that on top of him. So I'm twin tailing him. So there's two minnows there. They're both twitching around down there. They're about a foot off the bottom. And then what I'm watching for is when a fish starts to come at him, lift it up about two feet, hold it, and then things are just hammering it. Got him. There he ate it. There he ate it. How's that one feel, Jeff? He needs, here. That's a big guy to fuck we've been, oh. Boy, we've been working, that's a decent Yeah, one. that's some fish there. Nothing wrong with that. Look at that guy. Absolutely, it's a spirit of adventure. You know, we're probably the first people on this spot. I mean, it's mid-December or so, we're way up north, and talk this season by far is gonna be the ice conditions. Talk about a lot of jagged ice out here, huh? Been out searching the whole time, you know, trying to find a little bit bigger fish, and you know, we're catching some walleyes here, so I think yeah, we're actually onto some. Getting on the fish is nine-tenths of ice fishing, but realistically, it's always prudent to respect the circumstances and conditions in which you are fishing. So as we head out, it's, you know, it's still only mid-December, so the ice can be a little iffy. We're just sending Anderson out ahead of us. We're not, we're not right. dummies, right? <laughs> but we want to make sure there's at least six, eight inches of ice before we run the sleds and that UTV out there. You know, one of the most important keys to a successful day of ice fishing is simply finding the fish. We have this huge reef. We're the only ones on it, but it's a huge expanse of flat, which can seem really intimidating. With our map systems today, what I like to do is I like to pick out little inside turns, little outside turns, and specifically where we found these fish today is right in the basin, right on the point that leads into deep water. We have deep water out on this side, and we have our shallow reef here. Remember this, make things easy, be efficient, fish lots of holes, don't spend too long in one single hole, and you're gonna have a successful day out on the ice. There's a good one. It's just running and gunning out here. We're not getting attached to any spot. We're just looking at that map on the GPS. We're looking for those inside turns, outside turns, anything looks fishy, and we're just running and gunning. There he comes, there's a nice, there's a nice Lake of the Woods walleye. Yeah, just healthy fish. I just love this up here. There's just so many fish. I mean, I've often wondered just how many walleyes are in Lake of the Woods. Bring it! Ice Team Tactics, brought to you by Arctic Cat. Share our passion. If you'd like to catch more walleyes this winter, learn how to aggressively fish lures like swim baits, rattle baits, call baits that bring fish in from a distance, but that takes the right rod. We've designed the most comprehensive lineup of walleye rods on the ice. And why are these rods so popular with walleye anglers? They've got the right tip and the right action to get the job done. When you're working these lures, you're trying to pull in fish when you're not marking fish. And so the right fast tip that's built all the way down to the tip is gonna move more water and create more flash in the water to bring fish in. At the same time, when those fish punch that lure you got to have enough tip on that rod to be able to lay those hooks home at the same time you don't want such a stiff rod that the rod doesn't flex and cushion those big head shakes and help navigate those fish up through the bottom of the hole and you also need to be able to get over the top of the hole to remove your transducer and so there's been a lot of thought and a lot of years of experience that have gone into the design of these rods that's why these rods are some of the most popular rods amongst walleye anglers right now Everyone being able to use variations on jigging cadences and presentation styles while still working together has this Lake of the Woods big walleye ice bite on point. That was really awesome. I don't know if you guys could see that, but these fish want to chase these spoons and it's just a super aggressive jigging technique and that's what's actually getting these fish to trigger. Big Lake of the Woods walleyes. This is what we come up here for. We've been drilling holes, we've been searching, and this is this is what happened right here. If the overall prospect of fishing big ice could be for some, at first, seem overly complicated over, say, a smaller body of water. All the basics still applied here in Keith's, Jim's, Jeff's, and Pete's approach. Oh, what do we got here? To quickly breaking down this walleye bite. Oh, my favorite, yummy eel pot. Big fat fatty, look at that. Boy, did he eat that vibrato. I can't even see it. Holy man, <laughs> I didn't even see him coming in. I got one there, Peter. <laughs> man, this one's a good fighter, Pete. I haven't even lifted him up at all. You, you gonna need some help? Uh, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, come on I over. haven't seen it, I haven't even reeled one crank yet. Just Might case. be one of your buddies. Ah, <laughs> oh, could be. Yeah. Oh, boy. Now oh, I'm excited. 
You didn't want to land a walleye, but you'd land yeah, a eel pot, wouldn't you? You might have an eel pot here. I'm ready to grab. I think it's a big walleye. Ooh, it's a Get nice one. <laughs> <laughs> big old walleye. <laughs> Nicely done. Well, that ain't an eel pot, is it? Oh, wow. oh gee. <laughs> Wiggles like one. Wow, he's heavy. <laughs> That's a nice fish. Yeah. Look at here. Man, he just hammered the spoon. I, was, I wasn't actually even moving it. I'm going to be truthful with you. I didn't have no special action. It was just hanging there like a dead rod. My rod ooh, went down. And, and I tell you what, in my book, lots better than a eel pout. Lots better than a eel pout. Plenty of walleye today, huh? Yeah, well, I think right. it's yeah. 17 right miles back to the Sportsman's Lodge. So <laughs> what an adventure. Let's wrap her up. That's what a day on Lake of the Woods, huh? Yeah, absolutely. A lot of fun. Ice Team would like to thank the following partners for their support. Arctic Cat. Clam. Gander Mountain. Ice Armor. Jason Mitchell Elite Series. Mr. Heater. Recycled Fish. Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters. Thorn Brothers Custom Rods and Tackle. And Vexilar.